AMD launched their Zen 5 9000 series of Ryzen CPUs just a few weeks ago, but has one more CPU up their sleeve, the Ryzen 5 7600X3D, and this is a Micro Center exclusive. Official launch at your local Micro Center is September 5th, and you can only get this CPU at your local Micro Center. Starting at $299, this Zen 4 CPU has 6 cores, 12 threads, a base clock of 4.1 GHz, and it boosts to 4.7 GHz. And it also has the expanded 96 MB of L3 cache, hence the X3D moniker. This is an ideal budget gaming CPU. So if you're currently on AM4 and you're looking to get into AM5, this is a great starting point. And we'll have a 7600X3D bundle for 449, paired with an ASUS Tough Gaming B650 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard and 32 gigabytes of G-Skill Flare X5 DDR5 6000 memory. This budget entry rounds out the X3D lineup on the lower end, falling under the 7800X3D, 7900X3D, and 7950X3D CPUs. And we're going to look at the performance comparing the 7600X3D to the 7800X3D, which is our most popular CPU in stock. Compared to the 7800X3D, the 7600X3D has two fewer cores and a lower base and boost clock, with a TDP of 65 watts on the 7600X3D versus the 120 watt TDP of the 7800X3D. Both CPUs have 96 megabytes of L3 cache, which has proven to be a great advantage for gaming. We ran a few benches comparing the 7600X3D to the 7800X3D. It has been a busy week of updates, and one thing to keep in mind is we updated our test bench to the preview of Windows 24H2, which gives a performance boost to Zen 4 and Zen 5 processors, and it fixes some branch prediction issues that were occurring in 23H2. So we are only comparing the two CPUs that we've tested this week, the 7600X3D and the 7800X3D, since results from other AMD CPUs that we have on record are from previous Windows versions. Now, we'll be testing CPUs on the 24H2 update going forward. Also, for you at home, if you don't want to try out the 24H2 preview, Windows is updating the 23H2 version to receive an update to get the AMD fixes, so make sure you do a Windows update to see those performance gains. Looking into the benchmarks, the biggest takeaway is that the 7600X3D performs almost as well as the 7800X3D, performing only slightly lower, despite having two fewer cores. Now, this bodes really well for budget gamers who can expect performance close to the ever-popular 7800X3D while saving a few dollars. Cyberpunk 2077 at 1080p low settings, there's a difference of 2.55%, but we also ran Cyberpunk at 1080, 1440, and 4K with the Ray Trace Ultra preset, where the GPU does the heavy lifting, so there's not much performance loss there at 1440 or 4K. Red Dead Redemption 2 at 1080 low, there's a 2% difference between the 7600X3D and 7800X3D. Total War Warhammer 3, we ran the Battle and Campaign Benches at 1080, both with low settings and ultra settings. With the low settings, a 2.26% difference on Battle and 7.39% difference on Campaign, with only a 1% difference on Ultra. Now, Total War Warhammer 3 is a more CPU-intensive game, so running at 1080 low gives insights into the CPU difference when the GPU is taken out of the equation. Returnal, also running at 1080 low and Ultra, with a 3.88% difference at low and a 1% difference on Ultra. F123, with a 14% difference on low settings, though this is a frame rate average of 521 compared to a frame rate average of 608, and that's pretty high regardless. There's also a less than 1% difference on Ultra settings. Black Myth Wukong came in at 3.75% difference on 1080 low settings and a 1.67% difference on 1080 Ultra. With Cinebench single core, we had a 5% difference and with multi-core, a 24% difference, but that can be attributed to the two fewer cores on the 7600X3D. 3D Mark CPU Bench shows a gamut of thread benches, but only a 1 to 3% difference on the 1, 2, and 4 threads, with a bigger divide with the higher thread benches. 
So overall, what we're seeing is the 7600X3D obviously performs under the 7800X3D, but what's crucial is that the difference is small across the board. With that 96 megabytes of expanded L3 cache on one of the dies, you're getting that gaming performance that you can expect on the 7800X3D while being more budget conscious. So make sure you stop by your local Micro Center to get your hands on the 7600X3D. And whether you wanna buy the CPU solo or go for one of our bundles, you're gonna save big. Also, stay tuned since we'll have power spec models available shortly with the 7600X3D CPU. We're extremely excited about the CPU launch and Micro Center is here for all of your PC and gaming needs. So make sure to stop by your local Micro Center. And if you don't have a Micro Center near you, comment hashtag I want a Micro Center near me.